or is it real beef? <laughs> and if so, where did it originate from? I know it's a longer story, but just, you know. Yeah, whatever, I mean. Whatever it, you can share. It's kind of bigger than boxing, I guess you could say, because of uh, like the history and like everything that done, like went on. It's hard to even speak on it just because of the fact that we got to fight. In life, some people live to see their dreams come true, like Gervonta Davis. While others keep wishing for their dreams to become reality, you know who. Since Shakur Stevenson made a name for himself in boxing, he has always chased greatness, and he hasn't stopped for years. Recently, Shakur vented his frustrations on Gervonta Davis during a live call, accusing him of delaying their potential fight, but the conversation ended on a surprisingly peaceful note, with the two reaching a reconciliation. The tension between Shakur and Tank began when Shakur called out Gervonta Davis for allegedly avoiding him during an interview. It's in the sport, that could be made. A fight between yourself and Tank. Would you say that's the biggest potential? You think he watches Frank Martin? I mean, that's why he's fighting him. He's picking and choosing. That's what he do. Tank take the least risk. If Tank was really a risky nigga or this person he claimed to be, he would have- These comments came shortly after Tank's victory over Ryan Garcia in April 2023. Shakur, never one to shy away from expressing his ambitions, had been vocal about wanting to face the biggest names in boxing. He believed that Tank was dodging him, opting for easier matchups instead of taking on real challenges. I can't tell y'all. I don't know. Come fight night, I'm doing whatever it takes to get the victory. Gervonta Davis is avoiding me. I see it, Shakur stated in a 2023 interview with ESPN. He's out here fighting guys who can't box at my level. He doesn't want to step into the ring with someone who's going to make him miss and look bad. The tension seemed to hit a high point recently when they both got on a call. Davis, always confident, started off with a direct jab at Shakur's fighting style. Bro, you're a runner, Davis shot. You don't even want to fight. All you do is dance around the ring, running away from the action. Ain't nobody paying to see that. Davis's criticism wasn't new. Many fans and analysts had accused Shakur of being too cautious, too defensive, and not engaging in the brutal exchanges that fans crave. Shakur, however, had always defended his style by pointing to his boxing IQ and technical brilliance. His win over Oscar Valdez in 2022, where he thoroughly outclassed the Mexican champion to unify the WBC and WBO titles, was proof that his style works. You don't understand boxing, man, Shakur fired back. You're just out here throwing haymakers, hoping they land. There's no science in what you do. You rely on power because you can't outthink me in the ring. The argument took a sharper turn when Shakur brought up Tank's strained relationship with Floyd Mayweather. Tank had parted ways with Mayweather promotions in 2022, after years of growing tension. Davis had expressed frustrations with how Floyd was managing his career, accusing the retired legend of prioritizing his own fame over his fighter's success. Ungrateful, that's what you are. Shakur said. Floyd built you, and now you want to throw dirt on his name? You wouldn't be headlining pay-per-views or making the kind of money you do without Floyd. He made you a star. He can mm. smell it. So if you show any softness at all, Tank is going, he's going to sniff it out. And he's going to take it to, he going to take it to Shakur if they do. This struck a nerve with Gervonta Davis, who had long felt like he was living in Floyd's shadow. Although Floyd Mayweather mentored him early in his career, the two often clashed. Their issues even became public during the lead-up to Davis's fight against Raleigh Romero in 2022, where Davis voiced frustration with how Mayweather was promoting the event. Don't speak on stuff you don't know, man, Davis snapped. Floyd didn't do anything for me that I didn't do for myself. You think just because I rolled with him that he made me? Nah, I earned this on my own. It's my fist that got me where I am. Floyd ain't knocking people out for me. Davis's passion was evident. His split from Mayweather promotions was driven by his need to stand on his own, to prove that his success wasn't just due to Floyd's guidance, but also his own hard work and devastating punching power. His knockout victories over Santa Cruz, Barrios, and Garcia were seen as statements that he didn't need Floyd to become a superstar. But Shakur wasn't willing to back down. He respected Floyd and wasn't afraid to call out what he saw as Davis's ingratitude. You sound real bitter, Tank, Shakur responded. But at the end of the day, you owe a lot of your success to Floyd. It's like biting the hand that feeds you. You might be good, but you wouldn't be in this position without him. The call wasn't just about past grievances, though. As the exchange heated up, Davis shifted the focus to Shakur's upcoming fight against Joe Cordina, set for October 2024. Cordina, a rising star from Wales, had gained a reputation for his knockout power and aggressive style. You think you're so slick, but Cordina is going to crack you, Davis said. He's going to catch you, and when he does, you're going down. Mark my words, you're getting knocked out in October. Say, man, look, man. Your beef is not with Floyd Mayweather. You sitting here beefing with Floyd. It's a fighter out here that's been calling your name that want to...
Tank's prediction isn't far-fetched. Cordina shocked the boxing world in 2022 with a brutal second-round knockout of Kenichi Ogawa to claim the IBF title. His blend of speed and power makes him a formidable opponent, and many believe Shakur is taking a considerable risk by stepping up to face him. However, despite their recent tensions, Tank and Shakur have had their moments of mutual respect. During their call, they seem to acknowledge the past fondly. Whatever, man. You do you. We used to train together as kids, and you've achieved big things. Hats off to you, man. We shouldn't be beefing, Shakur said. Tank responded, Don't get me wrong, I ain't beefing with you. You're the one talking. Uh, you don't get it, but if you ask me, you're doing good. I don't have any bad blood with you. None. I wish you all the best and still do. With that settled, it seems we might not see any more heat between them, which is noteworthy, given the intensity of their recent exchanges. Shakur Stevenson is set to step back into the ring on October 12th, 2024, to defend his WBC lightweight world title in a high-stakes bout against Joe Cordina. The event, part of a grand fight night in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, headlined by the light heavyweight unification bout between Artur Beterbiev and Dmitry Baivol, promises to be a spectacle. Stevenson's fight has already sparked debate and criticism, especially with Gervonta Davis's camp fanning the flames. In a recent attempt to mock Stevenson's upcoming fight with Cordina, Gervonta Davis's co-trainer Kenny Ellis posted a sarcastic comment on Instagram saying, get your tickets now, implying that Stevenson's bout was unworthy of attention. Ellis's post was viewed as a swipe at the fight's quality, especially considering Cordina's recent performance. Shakur Stevenson, never one to shy away from online battles, quickly fired back. He posted a screenshot of Kenny Ellis's daughter's 7-3 boxing record, tagging Ellis with the message, same coach, stay focused. The jab was a clever dig at Ellis, mocking the fact that three losses in 10 fights were not exactly a glowing record. This social media exchange only added to the tension brewing between Stevenson's camp and Gervonta Davis's team for months. However, beneath this online banter lies an interesting narrative. Stevenson, who remains undefeated with a record of 20-0 and 10 knockouts, is eager to rise even higher in the boxing world. But to do so, he must overcome the criticisms that have mounted following his recent performances against Artem Harutyunyan and Edwin de los Santos. While Stevenson secured victories in both fights, his performances were far from dominant, leading some fans to question his standing in the lightweight division. These recent showings have cast a shadow over Stevenson's career, as fans wonder if he's truly capable of living up to his enormous potential. His upcoming fight with Joe Cordina is seen by many as a critical test for Stevenson to regain momentum, especially if he hopes to secure a future mega fight with Gervonta Tank Davis. But the path ahead isn't as straightforward as it once seemed. Stevenson's decision to face Joe Cordina has been met with harsh criticism. Cordina, once a formidable fighter, is coming off a devastating eighth-round knockout loss to Anthony Kakas on May 18, 2024. The 32-year-old Welshman, who held the IBF super featherweight world title before his defeat to Kakas, is now seen by many as damaged goods. Boxing fans haven't held back in expressing their disappointment, accusing Stevenson of cherry-picking a vulnerable opponent who offers little challenge or prestige. The harshest criticisms have focused on Cordina's knockout loss to Kakase, which was not just a defeat, but a beatdown that many believe took something out of Cordina. Kakase dominated the fight with relentless pressure, landing hard shots, and eventually dropping Cordina in the eighth round. Fans argue that no matter how impressively Stevenson performs against Cordina, it won't compare to Kakase's emphatic victory. Shakur isn't going to fight like Kakase, one fan commented online. He's not going to stand in front of Cordina and trade blows. Shakur is too scared of getting hit. He'll just dance around the ring and box his way to a boring decision win. There's a growing belief that Stevenson's cautious style may not not allow him to achieve the kind of definitive victory that would propel him back into the spotlight. While Shakur is undoubtedly a master technician in the ring, he has often been criticized for being too risk-averse. In contrast, Kakase was willing to take heavy shots from Cordina in exchange for delivering knockout blows of his own. It was that courage under fire that earned Kakase the knockout, something fans doubt Stevenson is willing to replicate. Despite the naysayers, Stevenson remains confident in his abilities. He knows that Cordina, with his 17-1 record and 9 knockouts, still possesses power and skill. Cordina's losses have come at a high level, and his resilience should not be underestimated. Stevenson's challenge will be to outbox Cordina while avoiding the heavy shots that Kakas risked taking. But that approach has also earned him labels like runner and boring from his critics, including Gervonta Davis himself, who has long mocked Shakur for his defensive style. The stakes are high for Stevenson. If he wins convincingly, he can continue building toward the dream fight with Gervonta Davis, a showdown that has been brewing for years. But if his performance against Cordina is lackluster, or if he struggles at all, his stock may take another hit. In the brutal world of boxing, 
Even an undefeated record doesn't guarantee respect, and Shacker knows that he must deliver a statement victory to silence his critics. Yet Stevenson is acutely aware that a victory over Cordina won't magically erase his recent struggles. While he successfully defended his WBC lightweight world title against Artem Harut Union, it was a fight that left many fans unimpressed. Harut Union managed to go the distance with Stevenson, and although the American won by unanimous decision, the lack of a spectacular finish has only fueled the perception that Stevenson's performances are beginning to stagnate. Moreover, Cordina's recent form does little to boost Stevenson's resume. While Cordina once held the IBF super featherweight title, his defeat to Kakas exposed flaws in his game that Stevenson will likely exploit. But for Stevenson, even a win over Cordina might feel hollow, given the Welshman's recent decline. Even so, the boxing world is buzzing with excitement as fans and analysts alike anticipate what could be one of the biggest fights in recent history, a mega clash between Gervonta Tank Davis and Shakur Stevenson. Both fighters are undefeated, reigning champions, and in the prime of their careers, making this potential fight an electrifying showdown for the lightweight division. According to Stevenson, the fight is inevitable, and it's not just about titles or records, it's about history. Speaking to his mentor, the former champion Andre Ward, on All the Smoke Fight, Shakur Stevenson opened up about the significance of this fight. He believes it transcends the sport of boxing itself. It's kind of bigger than boxing, I guess you could say, because of the history and everything that went on, Stevenson said. His words highlight how much anticipation has built up around the idea of the two champions meeting in the ring. For Stevenson, this isn't just another blockbuster bout. It's a fight fueled by a long-standing rivalry and the shared paths of both men. Uh, you think he watches Frank Martin? I mean, that's why he's fighting him. He's picking and choosing. That's what he do. Tank take the least risk. If Tank was really a risky nigga or this person he claimed to be, he would have fought Edwin Dollar Santos. When this fight eventually takes place, it will pit two undefeated champions against each other, a rare scenario that significantly raises the stakes. Gervonta Davis boasts an impressive record of 30 ZU with 28 knockouts, establishing himself as one of the most feared punchers in the sport today. On the other side, Shakur Stevenson holds a perfect 22 ZIL record with 10 knockouts and is the WBC title holder while Davis is the WBA lightweight champion. A matchup between these two would not only unify the division, but also elevate the winner to arguably the top spot in the lightweight category. Stevenson is confident that this fight is inevitable. He believes it's not a question of if, but when. I know it's going to happen, Stevenson assured Ward. I'm the best, he's the best. So when you have two guys who are the best, how can you not fight? This statement emphasizes the inevitability of the fight and highlights Stevenson's desire to prove himself by facing the toughest opponents available. Ward then asked, So, at the end of the day, you feel that's gonna happen? Yeah, I know it's gonna happen. I mean, I'm the best, he's the best. So, when you've got two guys who are the best, how can you not fight? Stevenson reiterated. For Stevenson, there's no way around this showdown unless something unforeseen happens like one of them suffering a loss before they meet in the ring. The only way it doesn't happen is if one of us slips up and takes an L, Stevenson added. Both fighters are at a point in their careers where a clash seems inevitable and could happen sooner rather than later. Stevenson has made it clear that he's ready to fight Davis whenever the opportunity arises. It can happen next. It can happen next year, Stevenson said. Whenever he says let's fight, that's when it's going to happen. This eagerness mirrors the anticipation of fans who want to see the fight as soon as possible. However, in boxing, timing is always a crucial factor. Fighters often wait for the perfect moment, whether they believe they are at their peak or the financial rewards are maximized. For Stevenson, though, it seems he's ready to step into the ring against Davis at any time, signaling that both fighters are on a collision course that's hard to avoid. Javante Davis, is it just boxing beef or is it real beef? <laughs> <laughs> and if so, where did it originate from? I know it's a longer story, but just, you know. Yeah, whatever, I mean. It, whatever you can share. It's kind of bigger than boxing, I guess you could say, because of uh, like the history and like everything that done, like, went on. It's hard to even speak on it just because of the fact that we. Despite the verbal exchanges and competitive spirit between them, Stevenson has consistently shown respect for Gervonta Davis's abilities. Stevenson recognizes that Davis is more than just a knockout artist. He's a smart, strategic fighter with a wealth of experience. He's strategic. He's setting guys up, Stevenson observed. He's been boxing since he was a kid, just like I have. And you can see that experience in the ring. This acknowledgement of Davis's skill set adds another layer of intrigue to their potential fight. Both men have been honing their skills since childhood, and both have proven themselves at the highest levels of the sport. Davis's knack for setting traps for his opponents 
and capitalizing on their mistakes is something Stevenson has taken note of. While this admiration doesn't mean Stevenson views Davis as unbeatable, it does show that he respects what Davis brings to the ring. Saying this guy's ducking, this guy, they want to find a, a person to say that somebody's ducking, but um, I ain't scared to fight him, he's not scared. And is preparing for a fight against a complete fighter, not just a heavy hitter. I think I'm ready for it. He's ready for it. We're both in our primes. It can happen next. It can happen next year. It can happen whenever he says, let's fight, Stevenson said. Stevenson also pointed to Davis's recent fight against Frank Martin as an example of his strategic acumen. Even in his last fight with Frank Martin, you could see Martin was more like an amateur. The experience level just wasn't there compared to Tank, and Davis took advantage of that. He let Martin waste his energy, gassed him out, and by round eight, it was over, Stevenson explained. This analysis shows how closely Stevenson studies his potential opponents. He sees Davis not only as a powerful puncher, but also as a fighter who uses his ring IQ to control the pace of a fight. In the bout against Martin, Davis allowed his opponent to tire himself out before going in for the finish, a tactic that highlights his patience and tactical thinking. Stevenson's level of insight suggests that when these two finally meet, it will be as much a chess match as a physical battle.